does this dip in the S and P 500, like indicate a new trend to the downside versus just a pullback? I mean, right now it looks just looking at the chart, like a pretty similar pullback that we saw, like you mentioned back in April, then we ended up moving higher from there. What cues would you be looking for that? Like, okay, this is going to be a sustained downtrend. Now the trend has shifted versus no, we're still in this bullish channel. This is just a pullback as, as we often see. Gotcha. Always the million dollar question, right? Yep. <laughs> uh, exactly. So you go back, what, we're watching multiple levels on the way down. Um, you know, certainly we always have to pay attention to things like the 200 day moving average. We have to pay attention to things like that. I tend to focus more on price itself, that whole price is king mentality. And so as of right now, having broken out of that channel, again, unless the market sends me a message otherwise, it did so at the same time it was ha it had weakening momentum on the way up. So it was kind of saying, hey, look, we've had a great run since April. Let's take some healthy profits. When you look at what happened in the market and you look at that rotation, it looks like a healthy overall bull rotation. So I wouldn't think no matter how, wherever this terminates, I wouldn't think it's putting the bull market in jeopardy in any way. Uh, end of July-ish tends to be seasonally, can be a little weaker. So seems to be normal right now. You start breaking things like the high you just mentioned from the previous pullback. I think it was five, six, seven percent back there, uh, right around the you can call it 5250 area from that old high, you know, from that where we pulled back there. I would want to see us fall back below that. Uh, that would be a little bit of a concern to me. Certainly, 10 percent is that psychological mark for the market. So I wouldn't want to see things like that get down. Otherwise, we are simply looking at this as a nice, hey, look at that, nice, great three-month-plus run. You can't go up forever. It's healthy, seeing a little rotation. Um, but areas we wouldn't want to see, again, is you look at that old peak from back in the April area. I wouldn't want to go back below that. And uh, there are other trend lines that we're watching. But right now, I wouldn't make a big deal out of it.